Hi, this is Gala Gonzalez. I work in digital as an influencer and I've also as a designer. If I had to describe my style, definitely I would use eclectic. <laughs> I don't know how to do eclectic. Eclectic has no style in pose. That's eclectic. Elegance is like... Well, maybe it would be more like with the shoulders, I don't know. There's some element of elegance, definitely. Effortless, effortless. And then effortless it would be just more like what I described. The French or the Brits, they do the best. Effortless, which is kind of like, I just, I'm missing a cigarette. That would be my effortless. Yeah, I like to keep, I like powerful women when I look at women. <laughs> I feel like a soldier. <laughs> Lady boss. <laughs> and I like them to feel comfortable. So I think comfortable and elegance are two adjectives that I want to introduce and to have when I, when I want to describe my style for sure. It's a mix between countryside and city in a way and the, the touch of color that comes with bag. It's also sexy. It's like powerful sexy. I think the boots is some, it's a fetish piece in, in all women's wardrobe because when you're wearing a pair of boots, I don't know, it makes you feel quite powerful, I think. The boots are such a statement piece that it, they're gonna take pretty much all the, they're gonna grab all the attention of the look. So for that moment, I think it's important to go for a handbag that is gonna be practical and it's gonna add a bit of color, like this one, for example. If you wanna kind of break with this more put together outfit, you can actually create a double denim and, you know, get a much more softer feeling. Changes the whole vibe with, it, with just one piece. I think actually I prefer this double denim. I actually love the burnt orange against denim. I think understanding how your, you know, your body works and which colors will suit you best is the first styling tip. What do you think? Leave your comments. So this is pretty much a good example of how to break all the rules that I just been talking about before yeah. on color palettes because it's all about textures here as well, which is the animal print shoes and then the suede handbag. I think this is probably one of the first shapes that I've ever went to when I was a teenager and then through adulthood as well, because this is a easy example of something that is flat, you can pack it on your suitcase so it's not gonna ruin the shape and also it holds a lot of things and as a woman you have a lot of shit that you need to carry in your handbag, unnecessary stuff for sure. I still don't think I feel 100% confident on, on the things that I wear. I think we all feel a bit conscious when we're wearing something that we know they're gonna grab a lot of attention, but I don't know, you have two options. So you drink a vodka before you leave the house or you just get on with it. I think after a while you enter in a period of time of your life that you stop worrying about what everybody else thinks and you just enjoy it. And life is too short, so why not? Just put on your shiny pants. Put a gala in your life. I'm just freehanding how to get a backpack out of a handbag. I think this is probably one of my favorite looks just because it's an amazing color palette and I love color palettes. I could see um, anyone from the 70s wearing it or even some 80s references just because of the size of the heel. I think this is a very urban outfit for sure. It's something that I would expect to see a woman in Paris wearing on the street or even in Spain, or Milan, or... At first you will think, okay, which handbag can I choose? Because the boots are such an important piece. So I think this bag, you can wear it like in so many ways. Especially the color, it just blends in a very effortless way with the rest of the outfit. I'm gonna show you how to style these handbags in a lot of different steps. I don't know how many I'm gonna come up with, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. The classic one shoulder, we can turn it into a backpack. From this, we just go on a crossbody in your hand. You know, like, Psh! I think adding metallic pieces, little, you know, like the buttons of the skirt or the logo of JC um, or the watch is definitely gonna add that in that point that is gonna kind of like connect everything of what you see and making a bit more right now. A handbag is definitely like beautiful in both ways, inside and outside. So having suede and beautiful leathers and finishing touches 
it's a huge difference. Those zippers that they run smoothly, and now you're looking at me and think, like, do I like it? But you do like it. This is the real Gala Gonzalez. Take one. I'm agent www001, because there's no one else apart from me, Gala. So this is my outfit when I have to go to any party events, just because everybody wears dresses. So it makes me feel really empowering because I'm definitely wearing the pants and just like a one gigantic pant with one zipper. You know, you can kind of like do like this. This is definitely a statement piece. And also it makes you think about Catwoman. So why not for a night out? So clutches normally are associated to nighttime because they're small and they're elegant and sophisticated. We went for like a green option because the idea was to break the whole black effect of the jumpsuit. Things that make your life easier, like this little strap. So most of the time when I arrive to a party, I just wanna make a statement, but so I wanna look chic, and then I just wanna pretend that I'm holding my bag, but obviously I don't wanna hold it for the whole night. So it's amazing that you can have two in one and pull out the little extra help of this chain and then go to the dance floor and just get on with your night. If you had to open my handbag right now, you will probably find the following objects. One, my phone, for sure. Second, I will probably carry my house keys if I don't force someone else to do it for me. Three, some chocolate because I always get hungry in the middle of the night. Four, sunglasses because you never know how late you're gonna stay out. And five, um, probably some extra underwear. You might want to go skinny dipping.